Did they play three games set against him or something? Now. Face it. Nice. Yeah. Do it. Alex Dodd here from Dodd Sports Network, where the Miami of Ohio Redhawks picked up a quality victory tonight against the Michigan State Spartans. They won 8-6, to six, and a strong start is what propelled the Redhawks to a victory here today. After two quick outs in the first inning, Theodore walked, two, walked three batters, and then Slappy had a two-run RBI single, and then Andreessen came up right after him and also had a two-run RBI single, and that made it four to nothing in the first inning, putting the Spartans in a hole right out of the gate. And then Miami scored three more runs in the second, and in the ninth inning, Michigan State tried to make a comeback. They were down eight to three going into the inning and scored three runs to make it eight to six. But the hole was too deep for the Spartans to dig out of, and the University of Miami, Ohio. Red Hawks picked up the victory, and I had a chance to have an interview with Dan Simons, the coach of your Miami Red Hawks, and here is that interview. I'm here with head coach of Miami University, Dan Simons, and coach got a quality win against a good Michigan State team. Yeah, yeah, very good team from the Big Ten. Uh, you know, certainly well coached team, and uh, you know our boys came back. We ended up you know losing the first game on Friday night in a tough way. Uh, in an extra inning game, and then to come back and you know beat a couple solid clubs. Uh, boys played well. We pitched very, very well today. Nate Williams did a great job. Brian Thien came out of the bullpen, and really you know threw a lot of strikes, kept them uh, you know a good hitting team off balance, and um, you know just to get to, to leave with it's good to leave with two wins. In the first inning, you got some big two out, two run uh, singles from Slappy. And Andreessen, talk about those. Yeah, I mean, that's extending the inning, and uh, they kept the inning going. A couple, you know, Andreessen crushed his ball, and then certainly Slappy, you know, jumped on a, you know, a fastball and took it right down the line. So, you know, it was great to see. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Slappy hit the ball the right field. His first time he actually had another RBI later in the game. But, um, you know, it was just really good to see these guys uh, stand in there, had very good approaches, using the middle of the field, and, uh, you know, paid off. You finished the weekend well with back-to-back -back wins versus Cincinnati and Michigan State. What's that? You finished the weekend well with back-to-back -back wins. Uh, I say Western Carolina. Western Carolina. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Western Carolina, sorry. Michigan State. Yeah, like I said, yeah. two good teams from two good conferences. So, yeah, we, uh, you know, pretty pretty pleased with the way uh, we played here the last couple of days. Got some things we got to work on, but we're, we're getting better. What'd your team learn from these past two weekends in Greenville? Well, uh, you know, there's some things we've got to work on. Uh, we just got to get out and play. I think that's the biggest thing right now. We learned that we've got to find, trying to find out some things personnel-wise, you know, who we're going to play and, and where we're going to play them. And I think that's the biggest thing, this early part of the season, just being able to get outside and play the game. I think that's the biggest thing we want to do right now. Yes, sir. Thank you.